Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. We're over here at CraigKirk.info. Some of you may remember Craig Kirk when I had the radio station going. Uh, he was one of my hosts. Great guy. Um, very, very knowledgeable. Not an attorney. Um, I don't know what to call him other than a human being educated in the law and biblical law. Uh, great guy. Anyway, he sent me some information that I thought I should share with you. A uh, bipartisan congressional bill would authorize the use of propaganda on Americans living inside of America. Uh, now we can assume we know that that's going on anyway without a bill, but this is disturbing when they're going to pass laws about it. An amendment that would legalize the use of pro propaganda on Americans' audiences is being inserted into the latest defense authorization bill. The amendment would strike the current ban on domestic dissemination of propaganda material produced by the State Department and the Pentagon according to the summary of the law of the House Rules Committee official website. The tweak to the bill would essentially neutralize two previous acts, the Smith-Munt Act of 1948 and the Foreign Relations Authorization Act in 1987. That had been passed to protect U.S. audiences from our own government's misinformation campaigns. The bipartisan amendment is sponsored by Rep. Mac Thornberry from Texas and Rep. Adam Smith from Washington State. In a little notice press release earlier in the week, buried beneath the other high profile issues in the $642 billion defense bill, including indefinite detention and a prohibition on gay marriage at military installations, Thornberry warned that in the Internet age, the current law ties the hands of America's diplomatic officials, military, and others by inhibiting our ability to effectively communicate in a credible way. The bill supporters say the informational material used overseas to influence foreign audiences is too good not to use at home and that the new techniques are needed to help fight Al-Qaeda and borderless enemy uh, whose own propaganda reaches Americans online. Critics of the bill say there are ways to keep America safe without turning the massive information operations apparatus within the federal government against the American citizens. Well, we know what's been going on. Now they're trying to pass laws to make it okay. Op Stop the Bullshit has been engaged. It's in high gear. And if I had to guess they expected it. Much love and thanks to Craig Kirk. Please check out his website and a side note, um, an update on what Craig's been doing. He is working on a uh, teach yourself at home course so you can learn to defend yourself uh, you know in this crazy law age that we have. Great man to learn from and you may see him possibly uh, on a live show with me at masterofmanythings.com through the live stream channel once his um, his class is out he will be available to take questions about the course so anyway thanks Craig for the information everybody else uh, research this and get an idea you know uh, now that they've been doing it now they're just trying to make sure that it's legal and that you think it's okay because I mean really the terrorists are everywhere right I mean aren't you in fear right now if you're one of them, you should be in fear. Op stop the bullshit.